dumb, cool, weird podcast. Welcome, folks. This is the Dumb Cool Weird Podcast, and today we're doing the Witch Finder General. Great time. Great time. Great time. Good movie. Vincent Price in the house. You're oh. all stupid. Yeah, so Nick really likes Vincent Price. We were going to watch, uh, we were thinking about some other movies today, but we decided to do this one because it kind of, I kind of remember this movie when I was a kid, and it's pretty it's fucking a pretty ridiculous. gnarly movie. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Basically, it's about these two actual guys that existed during the 1600s yep. who actually would go out and hunt people, and they probably put about, probably... I, th I think too it, many, too many people, innocent people to their death. <laughs> well, that's the thing, right? It's like witchcraft was just a way that like people were like, you know, I don't like the fact that my neighbor has like a cow. I don't have any cows. I'm just a drunk. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to blame him for witchcraft. Yep. Pretty much. And so basically the beginning of this movie, um, you know, you see the, the, the soldier, the, the charming, you know, love interest. He's, he's coming to see his woman, like Mark Hamill esque human yeah. being. Yeah. And he comes to see his woman at the Abbey and he says hello to her and he says hello to her uncle and well, uncle well, he is a says, priest. He says hello to the uncle first, who is a priest who drinks a lot. Yep. Gave him some ale, you a know, lot he's, of it. he's got a drink. They have a good time. He stays the night. He fucks her up in the bed. Not married yet. Could have been you know, witchcraft. Pre premarital sex. You know, it was magical, so it was witchcraft. Sorcery. Mm -hmm. So he ends up leaving the next day, and as he's he's heading out, you know, the old witch finder general comes up with his his little his little <laughs> his little homie stooge, his little stooge, and um, which. By the way, at the beginning of this movie, we see a woman get hanged up on a hill. You know, that's always fun. Yeah. You know, you, you think at that point that it's going to be pretty silly. And then it gets really dark because Vincent Price is, like, just ad-libbing his whole fucking dialogue. Yep. And they're just torturing people and also doing, like, debaucherous shit in the town. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, you know, his little, his little stooge, you know, who's collecting the money, he's like the the master interrogator you know he's over there it's like, i'm doing the lord's work stabbing people with an ice pick in the back you know to see if they have pain well if he has pain and he bleeds he's clearly a witch yep and all these different methods for finding witches are so stupid dude which is funny because like they're over here committing all these like crimes that yeah. are against like technically against the bible but you know who gives a shit about well that? you see you see the funny part when i was learning about this shit in class is that the reason why the catholic church in actuality, the reason why the Catholic Church went on a witch hunt is because they wanted to be the only people with a monopoly on magic. Because technically, miracles are magic. Yep. So they wanted their own monopoly on the magic. Yeah, they were like, man, you know, this Jesus guy might not be able to compete with Ezra, the witch down the road. Mm -hmm. Better go kill her. Yep, she's a witch. Got to burn her. You know what, though? Pa killing pagans is a fun tradition. No matter <laughs> what religion you are, pagans are weak. God, dude. <laughs> Do you see any fights being put up by the, the witches? No, they just kind of like, we're like, oh, no, don't slap me any harder. Yeah, so basically they accuse the priest of being a witch. And so the witch finder general and um, his little stooge, they basically tie him up. But before that, they start torturing him like 100% because they were like stabbing him in the back, making sure... They're like if you if we if you stab him in the back and he doesn't bleed and doesn't feel pain, then he's a witch, you know. Yeah, it's like they, they kept making up the rules as they were going along. Oh yeah, and then they like ran him around the table. I got, you know, if you get dizzy, you're a witch. Yeah, but basically the girl was like, if you come interrogate me tonight alone in my bed, then if you spare him. And then he was like, yes, I'll yeah, spare I'll him. Yeah, I'll do that. I can do that. He can, and he does. <laughs> but and it's it, funny and because he, his, his and he continues buddy. And he continues to interrogate her every night for like three nights. And then his uh, his buddy got like pissed off because he, was he, he wasn't getting satisfied by bar wenches. Yeah, he wanted her too. Yeah, he's like, it's like I want some, some like classic strange. I don't want some strange that's been passed around. Yep, so the next day, uh, you know, the witch finder general goes to another town and then, you know, his stooge decides he wants to rape her. And then this other guy on a horse is, like, watching it happen, and he goes... He goes oh, that was the buddy who's just like... Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. It's fucked up, dude. Dude. <laughs> but, that, but that's the thing. Like, all the, all the town's retards came out to attack the priest. Yep. 
Yep. And then so when he comes back, he's like, oh, she's she's been defiled by another man. I'm not interested anymore. And so basically he decides to kill them all. And basically he's a fucking shysty, scummy motherfucker because yeah. he's like, he's like, oh, we I got a confession. You got a confession. You got a confession. And apparently yeah. he got them all to confess. And so they're dragging him over to back to the Abbey and they're like, we're going to hang them. But first, let's see if they can swim. <laughs> yeah. If they drown. They were innocent. If they tried to swim, and they're witches, and it's like, well, that's a no-win scenario, dude. It's like, well, well, that's the th- that's the thing, right? It's like they always came up with like these no-win scenarios. Like, if I shoot him and he dies, he was clearly innocent. Yeah, it's like logic there. But basically, the old lady drowns. the The woman and and the priest survive, and the priest even looks at him and goes, "May God forgive you." And he just <laughs> die. He just gets hung. Yeah, they both get hung, and then they leave the town. Let's take a moment here to, to like, fast track, all right? He comes back to the town after attacking his stooge Mm -hmm. in the, like, in the bar. Instead of saying, oh, yeah, take me to your friend, you know? And he keeps doing this whole fair fight thing, right? It's like, dude, you're a soldier. Fight dirty. That's what yeah, they literally cause, do. Yeah, because the soldier comes back to town. He finds that his, his his woman's been raped. They get married. And then he's like, I'm going to find this motherfucker. So then he goes off to this bar, like Nick said. And he's like, the guy's like, well, if you're looking for some witches, we can help you out. And then he hits him in the back of the head. Then he hits him in the face with his helmet. And then he stands his ground waiting for him to recover a little bit. Like he said, fair fight, right? He had a sword and a gun. Could have just gone like, oh, you're so-and-so? Pew! Right in the face. Yep, and then so the other guy, the you know the bar, the barkeep hits him over the head with a, a, a shitty, piece of wood. flimsy piece of wood, and he gets knocked out. And the guy gets knocked out for a minute. He runs away, and then the the fat barkeep's like, "Well, I'm taking you to the magistrate." And he goes, "The hell I am!" And he like hits him right in the <laughs> gut, hits him right in the gut, <laughs> knocks him down. He's like, oh, oh no. <laughs> Yeah, and then they would go on this whole like chase with the horses, and Nick's like, "That horse looks so fucking tired, dude." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The horse was like, dude, we've been running for like five days. <laughs> and then basically they end up like, you know, his butt, the, 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 the fucking goon ends up catching up with the witch finder and they like end up going into the woods and they're sitting there hiding. And he's like, and the, and the, the goons like, we got it. We got to go, dude. We got to get the hell out of here. Stop. And, and then like, and then Vincent Price like, no, you idiot. <laughs> Stupid man. We got to, we're, we're going to claim he's a witch. And then the guy's like, I don't know about this, man. This is this is a little bit too much even for me. And then he's like, no, we will find a way to get him. Find and then get him. <laughs> and so they, they, they ride off and then they run into uh, the other soldiers. Yeah. And the soldiers are like, all right, give us your horse. And then they're like, no. And then I'm just like over here like, bro, how do you think this is going to play out? Well, you know what the dumbest part was is how easy it was for them to kick their ass. Yeah. Like – you couldn't execute them on site for like you know fighting you. Yeah, they they both got away. I mean, one of them, you know, the the goon should have died from a, the wound. For he yeah, got like shot. I said, like like a fucking lead bullet hitting your <laughs> arm, ex, like expands on impact and turns your bone into gravel. Yep. And so they go. So the the witch finder goes to the other town, abandons his, his fucking goon. And after the goon gets away from all these other soldiers, and by the way, kills a bunch of them. Yeah. And then. Basically, the uh, the guy the guy goes back, and by the way, we forgot to talk about this. But at the beginning of the movie, he saves like his captain from getting shot, and so by an Irishman, by an Irishman. So I they, don't, it wasn't an Irishman. Well, it was another know. Englishman. It, Something. It's funnier when so, you say Irishman. So he ends up going back to um, you know his captain, and the captain's like, "Oh, you've been gone. Where the hell you been?" And he's like, "Well, you know." Um, I, I was doing what I had to do. And he's like, well, you know, I'm going to look past it this time. But, you know, next time it'll be death. <laughs> Treason. I, I mean, he's not wrong, though. Yep. And so he ends up going back to his friends. And uh, after that, we cut back to the fucking goon. The goon's trying to buy a fucking shitty horse from this fucking <laughs> Irishman. And the Irishman's like, oh, hey, boy, oh, can I get that quarter? And then he, like, spin, he spits he spits at him. And then he finds out he, the the Irishman tells him where the witch finder went, and he he's like, "Give me that fucking shitty horse now!" And he like gets on the horse, gives give him the me money. that crippled one now. <laughs> yeah, and so he hops on the horse and rides off. And then the cap the guy gets promoted to captain by the the fat ugly general with the with the boils all over his face. Yeah, he's probably a witch. 
Yeah, he probably was a witch. That probably was the only witch in the actual movie. Yeah. Um, ironically enough, the witch is the general of the entire army. You know what, you know what the funnier part was in the preface of the movie? They were saying that, that, that these magistrates are like backwards as hell. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, somebody should really just come in there and just like be like, you yeah, know, you guys are fucking dumb. Yep. And by the way, before they even, uh, go to this new place, you, you actually, uh, sh- you actually cut to the them torturing these three women. Yeah. And we get to see this one guy who's really not putting up a fight to save his wife. He's like being held down. He's not really putting like, up. Oh up. no. Yep, and basically he uh <laughs> But you know that town sucks. Like yeah, that's why I believe that people are inherently evil pieces of shit because yeah. like a whole town will literally be like, yeah, you know, Elizabeth's a witch, right? Yep, but this time it was even more fucked up. They weren't just hanging them. They were fucking burning, burning them, them alive. Burning them alive. And basically the dude comes back and he's like, ah, Witchfinder, I'm going to kill you because you left me out ha- out to dry. The goon was mad. And, and Witchfinder pulls out his gun and says, oh, do I have to kill you? You know I would, ki- you know I would kill you. I value all human life, mine especially. <laughs> and he's like, and don't worry, I got a cut of it for you. <laughs> and then and he, he just goes back. right back to his yeah, side. He's like, he's like, yeah. he's like, oh, you know, I mean, he didn't really mean it. He didn't mean to leave me to die. Yeah. So he just kind of rolls with it. And we cut back to the guys that are like, they find this guy who's like in a boat, and he's like, oh yeah, the king's not here. And he's like, he's like, oh, but the, the town over there, it's about two days that way. They got some wild stuff going over there. He's like, what's going on? Witch burning <laughs> to do. <laughs> and everyone's like. Oh come on! <laughs> <laughs> and then and then like the other guys and then the the, the captain's like, oh, I'm gonna get him. Then he like and they, they like they like chase after him, and they end up going to that town. They and the the the, the, the woman and like his wife and him they like end up hooking up again. You know it was dumb. They they should have like you know done the killing of the witch finder first, like yeah. you know Vincent Price and his goon. But instead they're like, now nah, we're gonna fuck first. We're gonna fuck, and then his buddies go to the fucking alehouse. They don't protect the door or nothing. Yep, and they end up like finding out, oh, they're here, and so the witch finder and his and his goon and this other fucking guy, oh, some some guy. Yep, like I love how the guy like in was like was like, yeah, I saw them with a black cat and a pot. Yeah, uh, I mean, that, like okay, uh, good enough. <laughs> I, I love that evidence. So they end up taking him up to the castle. They tie them up and they start torturing him. And then if they've she been... bleeds and screams, she's a witch. Yeah, they keep changing the rules. <laughs> yeah, they keep changing the rules. Uh, by the way, before they go up to the castle, the guy whose wife died tries to fucking do a little sneak attack on fucking the witch finder, but he he brings he, he literally a... brings a knife to a fucking gunfight. No, no, this is what pissed me off more. Right, he had one shot in that fucking musket pistol. And they they don't try to escape. They're like, yep, yeah, let's just, we're still being held captive here by the goon. <laughs> and then, you know, that shot rings out and his buddies who are in the tavern are not like thinking, wow, you know, someone just shot a gun. We should probably check that out. No, they don't check it out. They literally discover the guy who's actually half dead already. <laughs> he's like, Bleh. And he's like, he's like, oh, they took him up to the castle where they tortured Elizabeth. Uh, and then he dies, you know. Uh, and Town fucking sucks. And so they end up going up to the castle, and they the other buddy like leaves them, like just doesn't go with them for some whatever well, he, reason. He, he was tending to the dead guy. Yeah, because that that's that means something. He probably went back to the ale house. Yeah, probably did. So then, basically, the two guys show up. They fucking kick the shit out of the fucking guy guarding the place. Yeah, the pikemen get their ass handed to them. One mm-hmm. of them gets killed. Mm-hmm. First one gets knocked out. Then the guy pull that that lackey of theirs. He mm-hmm. pulls out a knife. Yep, and then they fuck him up. They stab him in the spine and fucking kill him. And then the other, and then like somehow, like uh, after torturing her, they have her like pinned down. And you know the scene where he's like, yeah, they cut her down before uh, the whole uh, pikeman scene happened. Remember? Yeah. Pretty- and they were gonna start like branding her with an iron cross. Yep. And then somehow the captain gets out. And like stabs the goon in the eye with a shoe. Well, he he figured out this interesting thing, right? If you climb up enough against the wall, the rope on the little like you know, on the like hook that they put it on, it's not really being held up by anything else. It's like it's not a closed chain. So he was like, oh, I could just like climb up and bounce off this shit. Yeah, pokes his eye out. Oh, yeah, pokes his eye out with a spur. Yep, hits him with that spur. And then he grabs an axe and he just starts chopping the witch finder <laughs> up. Fucking, yeah, fucking killing Vincent Price. Yeah, chopping him up. 
And then uh, his buddies show up, and he sh- and one of them's just like, "Oh my god!" Just shoots Vincent Price, and then he and yeah, then the like, captain's like, so "You took him from me!" Yeah, because he was mad. And then we literally end on her screaming at the bloody murder throughout the whole castle, and then freeze frame on her, and then credits. <laughs> hey, at least they knew in the seventies you didn't have to have a happy ending. No, nah, there never is. Uh, we we can only assume that because. The guy had so much power; they're probably all gonna like get fucked up. Well, that he did. Uh, he did. Uh, he did say. Uh, he, he did say, "May God have mercy on us all." Well, yeah, yeah, they're gonna get fucked up. So it's not a happy ending. Um, this is a weird movie. A lot of drinking. A lot of a lot of wi- raping. A, a lot of raping. A lot of witchcraft that Bullshit. wasn't really really witchcraft. And yeah, it was fucking nuts. It was a lot of fucking evil. Really, the evil side of humanity. So let's talk about the dumb, cool, and the weird. What was dumb about this movie? I mean, dumb is the fact that many people. What's dumb is people believed in witchcraft. Yep. I mean, first off, if we burn a witch today, we're going to prison. Yep. Straight to fucking prison. No, I, I think the dumbest thing had to be the fact that, like, the evidence, like every, like every person who gets accused, the evidence isn't really anything. It's like, oh yeah, I saw you with a black cat. All right, and a pot. Okay, and I think I heard you talking to Satan. Yep, and the the thing that I said to Nick is, is like, these people are already dead, and they don't even know it yet. They're, like, even when they get accused and they get to defend themselves, they're, they're oh, already... Oh, yeah, no, I mean, I, dude, I went to, I, I did a whole class on it when I was in college for mm. my degree, yeah. and I was like, I was like, it, it's just, it's so dumb. It's like, you, you, at this point, you should honestly just say, like, yeah, I did it, because you're going to die, but you're not going to have to get tortured first. And then it's like, it's like, yeah, I did it. Okay, cool. You're going to die. It's like, you know, if we go into Iran and we did the little fucking finger trick, like that little, hey, look at my finger move, kid. Mm-hmm. You know, they probably charge us with sorcery and ask us, oh, you get to be put to death first or you get to, wait, I'm, he's not Iranian. He's Mexican now, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, like you get to go to prison for 30 years or you get to go to death right now. Death. death please, death. Death. Quick, or, quick. Or what they do is they keep us in a prison anyways. And they cut off my thumb and be like, that'll teach you to use sorcery. It's like, oh, thank you. Um, So that was the dumb. What's the cool? Oh, the cool thing was how he got his revenge. I mean. He chopped him up with the axe. He just kept beating the shit out of him with a little wood chopping axe. Mm -hmm. Yep. He was like flailing a little bit, sort of still alive. I mean, the practical effects of this movie were also fun. Yeah, that's true. Like, I like how they burn. I mean, I don't like that they burn that woman, but it was a pretty cool effect how they burn that they, woman. They, the uh, practical effects in this movie were great. Yeah. So I think that was a cool thing about it. Yep. And then what was the weird? <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Where, 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 where do we go with this one? The whole fucking movie's weird. Yeah. I mean, the whole concept of, of like witches and stuff is weird because it's like. It really doesn't take much to sway these fucking people in the 1600s. There's all the retards of the society, too, who are like, I saw him doing witchcraft. No, what was really weird was those creepy-ass kids in the last, like, the last town he goes to before he dies. Okay, well, let's be fair, right? British children are disgusting. Weird. Dude, The you know what else was weird? They were cooking potatoes in the ashes of those dead people. That That was fucking creepy and weird. That sounds like British people. Oh, my God. That was so fucking weird. What a weird fucking movie, dude. No, no, I, and dude, I'm telling you, like I said, it's like it was a weird movie because it's like the topic of witchcraft is weird alone. It's it's I mean, people are getting accused for shit that can't be proven by people who make up rules as they go along. Look, if you want to watch a movie that's like really fucking creepy and it'll it'll kind of piss you off and it'll freak you out a little bit. It's 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 kind of a disturbing movie. Uh, yeah. Definitely watch Witchfinder General if you want something like that, but I will warn you, it's a pretty goddamn graphic movie for 1968. Yeah, they uh they got away with a lot. Um we did read somewhere that it was like number 15 on the top best horror movies of all time or something like that. I believe it. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's Definitely fucking creepy. But yeah, I definitely recommend this one if you really like stuff that'll really freak you the fuck out and like disturb you. It's definitely the movie for you. Yeah. But yeah, check out the the podcast. You know, we got more Liar stuff coming. Stuff. Yeah. Dumb cool weird, you know, podcast. You know, we're on retroredfilms.com, retro red films, you know, YouTube channel, you know, you know, we're 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 all we do is review movies now and yep. we got more coming every week and um sometimes oh, we we'll do have... sometimes we'll do commercials, sometimes we'll also review um 
music. It just depends on. Wes, you know what, what we should do? We should uh, we should do an OnlyFans where we review people's pornos. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> Making OnlyFans reviewing other people's OnlyFans. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I give this one a four out of five. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway, um, you want to sign us out? Uh, yeah, stay sexy, Atlanta. Or Georgia. I can't remember what we're doing anymore. We're doing it. Thanks for checking out the Dumb Cool Weird podcast. We're a movie podcast now, so Movie Monday is every Monday about crappy movies from the 20th century. It's going to be great, folks. I can't wait to show y'all.